Okay. Take two because apparently my phone. Oh, this is terrible. Kobanwa. Kobanwa. That's good night. All right. Good evening, for all you English speakers out there. And this is day two of the uh, Indian Jelly trip up and down Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, so today started off pretty early, around oh, yeah. three a.m. local time. We we're still pretty jet lagged. So we stayed up for two hours watching late night Japanese television at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Yeah. And then around 5.30 or 6, we got up and went walking around for a little bit to search for some breakfast. Mm -hmm. It was a decision point between McDonald's mm -hmm. or Mac Macaru Donoru <laughs> and a convenience store called Lawson's, uh -huh. which I think we decided to end up going there because... To Lawson's. To Lawson's because it sounded good. And uh, it was actually pretty interesting. Um, they have a lot of fresh baked goods in the convenience store and mm -hmm. a lot of fresh food. I got a some sort of like breakfast Danish with meat and some sort of like mayo paste, <laughs> which was pretty good. It was bacon. It was bacon. And it was mayo and it had cheese and it had egg in like a pastry. So like they hollowed out a loaf of bread almost, a small loaf of bread about that thick. Yeah. It was good. And then I got onigiri with some tamago and chicken katsu in it with, and then a spam musubi with egg, which is also very good, especially for a convenience store. Surprising how good that food was. Yeah, it was really good. Um, After that, we uh, left for the train. Mm -hmm. Today we made our trek from Narita to Hiroshima on the Shinkansen, the bullet train here in Japan. Um, it was actually really nice to ride that train. It was very smooth, much smoother than I thought it would be, and quieter than I thought it would be. But looking outside, you can just see how fast you, you're moving, and it's great. Yeah, it's really cool because the, the both the, the, the Shinkansen, which is the bullet train, and uh, the, Narita, the Narita Express, which takes you from Narita to Tokyo, really kind of takes you through the heart of the city, and it shows you all the cool buildings there are to see. Um, it's really interesting for me at least to see the modern architecture with sort of the older architecture and then that kind of built around like these large geographical features like giant hip, giant hills with lots of vegetation on it or mm. like around the river. Uh, it's just the, the whole mix of it I think is really unique and I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to see how efficiently they have to build and use their space with how little they have. You see a lot of high-rise apartments buildings and you see a lot of Actually, today on our walk, we saw a lot of car parks or parking garages that were actually underground and utilize elevator lifts kind of to move the car in and out so you can't drive down, you have to be lifted down. So, a lot of a lot of differences from here from the U.S. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then, so when we got here, uh, first thing we did was when crossed off one of Joey's bucket list cuisine items, which was the uh, okonomiyaki. Mm -hmm. Or um, some sort of noodle pancake, pretty much with cabbage inside, and we I think there was some bacon, or it was called pork, but essentially bacon. So it's a, it's multiple layers of noodles on the bottom, with cabbage on top, and then there's there's, there's an egg in there, with some with some cheese on top mm -hmm. and some pork belly strips, and there was some tempura crisps in there, all topped with the pancake, with some. Okonomiyaki sauce on it. Mm -hmm. I put mayo and seaweed and bonito flakes. It was very good. Yeah, it, it was... actually was so filling that we didn't even eat dinner tonight. Yeah. So. Well, barely had <laughs> even time. after walking. Barely had time to eat dinner tonight. God. I know. We left our hotel. We got to our hotel around four thirty. I think we left around five or five fifteen. Around uh, five, yeah. And then we went. Uh, we decided to go explore Hiroshima a little bit. We were originally going to go to the Tory Gate, but we didn't have time this afternoon. Things seem to take a little longer than you expect, so... We were originally planning to go to the Tory Gate, but then today we went to go see the Peace Memorial and the, the museum for the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. And we also saw a building that was st still standing from when it was bombed, after the atomic bombs dropped. Um, and then we went to go see Hiroshima Castle, which is pr all pretty close by. All of that was within a 20-minute walk yeah, or so. So everything's really close to our hotel. We picked a pretty good spot, I think. 
and then after that we got lost and uh, eventually found the entertainment district of Hiroshima, mm-hmm. which was pretty cool. And we went to the crazy popular department store called Don Quixote because I can't pronounce it very well. And it's really cool. It's a five-story department store essentially with each floor dedicated to a certain thing. Mm-hmm. So down in the basement, there's a bunch of niche hobby stuff. There's action figures and old video games and vintage clothes. Mm-hmm which is pretty cool, and then the floor above it, which is at the street level, is, I think Joey put it earlier, when the video didn't record, it was all, impu- it was an entire floor dedicated to impulse buys, mm-hmm. so like snacks, and drinks, and candy, mm-hmm. it was it's nuts, it was a lot. madhouse, I mean, there's barely enough room for one person to get by in the aisle, so if you hit an aisle with someone in it, you can have to go around, but aisle after aisle after aisle of stuff, and then the floors above it are home appliances, electronics, and you've got almost like a Macy's where it's a bunch of clothes and mm-hmm. accessories. Mm-hmm. And then there was one floor that was under construction, but mm-hmm. fifth floor I think was like like a food court mm-hmm. to be. Which so, just like an all inclusive store, which literally had anything you could think of pretty much in the store somewhere. So pretty cool to see. It's very different from the US for sure. Yeah. So we left around, yeah, I think, like I said earlier, we left around five, mm-hmm. got back around eight. So it was like a two and a half, three hour walk mm-hmm. around downtown Hiroshima. I think we got about 15,000 steps in just from the two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, we did a lot so of walking. So we did a lot of walking. Uh, even, even after all that walking, we still didn't eat anything. And I'm still not even that hungry just because the Okonomiyaki was so filling. Yeah, it was Not sweet. sure why, but it was very good and very mm-hmm. filling. So yeah, that's about it for today. I think Joey's... And I might hit the gym. I'm probably not going to. I'll tell myself that I will, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're probably going to hit the hay pretty soon. I think we're pretty exhausted from being up so early and just kind of being jet-lagged from the from the plane trip, but I think we'll be okay pretty soon. Yeah, and then tomorrow we are heading off to Osaka, mm-hmm. and then we won't have to bounce around hotels Yeah, once every day. That is kind of a little annoying, but that's so, okay. I think it was good to come to Hiroshima. Yeah, I think so, too. see the stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool town. I hope we can make it to the Tory Gate tomorrow morning. We'll see if we can find a train. Yeah, we'll figure it out tonight, and then mm-hmm. uh, we'll let you know tomorrow. Okay. So, thanks for listening. Um, see you tomorrow. Yep. Bye.